please sit. As Vice President and Dean of Science and Engineering, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the magnificent surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I would like to welcome our graduates whose achievements and hard work in the face of significant adversity over the past two to three years we celebrate here today. You have met and overcome unprecedented challenges making your achievements all the more remarkable. The skills, knowledge and experience you developed during your time with us have given you a strong platform to not only build your career, but also to succeed in the face of any obstacles you meet in the future. We are delighted to see so many family and friends here from all over the world. We know that recent years have been hard for you too, but your support has been so important to the success that, the, that we celebrate here today. Welcome to you all. For our graduates, today marks a momentous milestone on a road that began many years ago. The journey of all you bright women and men has been enabled by the unstinting support and encouragement of parents, grandparents, guardians, and family friends. You may be sitting here now, about to be awarded a degree from the University of Manchester, but it was not so long ago that you were at school, doing homework and wondering what university life would be like. The people who love you are as proud of you today as they have ever been, and therefore, I would ask the graduates to please stand. Don't look worried. It's not a test. Rotate by C3 axis. It was a test. 120 degrees, please. Thank you. And please show your appreciation to the people who have supported you. Clap, cheer, whistle. Thank you. Sit down, please. As the first university in the UK to set social responsibility as a core goal, we encourage all of our students to engage in transformational activities, both in their studies and beyond, to help them stand out, consider their place in the world, and to make a difference. These are the distinctive attributes of a University of Manchester graduate socially responsible, highly employable, and resourceful global citizens who are able to make a positive contribution to society as well as to their workplace. We are pr very proud that so many of you are graduating today. Beyond our reputation as a renowned center of excellence and pioneering research and discovery, we are being increasingly recognized as a university for the contribution that we make to society and the environment. In April 2021, the University of Manchester was ranked first in the world in the Times Higher Education University Impact Rankings, which rates institutions on their contributions to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This fantastic achievement epitomizes our core values and recognizes all that we have achieved together, both staff and students, delivering benefits for the good of society and transforming lives for the better. Our ambition is for the University of Manchester to continue in the first rank of higher learning on a global scale. With over 160 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is already a truly global institution and one which will remain so, valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. At the core of our vision is major investment in people and in buildings, infrastructure and facilities, which are concrete evidence of our commitment to the highest standards in scholarship and research. The £450 million Manchester Engineering Campus Development opened fully in summer 22, 
is part of a £1 billion investment in buildings and will give state-of-the-art facilities for teaching and research across engineering and science. The Sir Henry Royce Institute opened in autumn 2021 as part of a national hub for research in advanced materials and in 2019 saw the opening of the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre to bring graphene to commercial realisation. 2019 also saw our Manchester Institute of Biotechnology win the Queen's Anniversary Award, while our Jodrell Bank site, a birthplace for radio astronomy, was given world heritage status. And Alan Turing, an alumnus of Manchester, is on the £50 note. But it really isn't the bricks, mortar, wires and technology, the equipment and pieces of paper that make this university so great and successful. It is our staff, our students and all of our people. I would particularly like to pay tribute to all of our professional services and academic staff who worked so tirelessly to deliver remote as well as face-to-face -face teaching throughout the COVID pandemic and beyond. A university does not exist but for its students. You are the University of Manchester. And because of our dialogue with you and your input, the university is changing and will continue to change for the better. Today is just as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as for your success in your academic studies. The greatest thing you have taught, the greatest thing we have taught you is not facts and figures, but how to learn, what to learn, how to think critically, and to ask questions, and to ask the right questions. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers the world over recognize the value of the diploma that you will soon be all holding in your hand. And to the parents and family who believed their days of paying for their children were over, some of you are in for a shock as your child's educational aspirations continue. Your degree is a hugely important milestone and we celebrate your success. But this is only the beginning of another journey and of your association with Manchester, not the end. The journey continues way beyond today's pomp and ceremony. Our career service continues to offer you help and support and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the university, linking you with a global community of over a billion half a billion Manchester graduates, not a billion yet, half a billion. Then these work and live across the globe in more than 190 countries. And as alumni, you yourselves can help future students in many ways, as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university. Just as you were vital to the university when you were studying here, so you will continue to be a vital part of its future. And remember that our doors will always be open to you. You are always welcome. I congratulate you on your success and wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. It is always dangerous to give young people advice, but I will close by doing so. Be bold and turn your dreams into reality. Life is not a rehearsal. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this wonderful city of Manchester. As Head of School of Engineering, it is my great pleasure to say a few words about our school and especially about our students from the Departments of Mechanical, Aerospace and Civil Engineering and Computer Science and talk a little about the importance of training, training engineers, project managers and computer scientists to tackle some of the world's most important societal challenges. Firstly, it is with great pride that as a Mancunian myself, I'm able to represent our school and share with you some insights about what we do. 
As many of you will know, our student and staff community is vast, diverse and inclusive. With students joining us from around the world to study engineering, computer science and project management. We deliver programmes in areas from structural engineering to artificial intelligence and we work with hundreds of disciplinary and interdisciplinary PhD researchers at the cutting edge of their fields. We have world-leading research from seeking solutions to cybersecurity to deal with new technologies such as smart electricity meters or contact tracing, to inform a safe return to work in the environment following the pandemic through the Thomas Ashton Institute. And we have research in collaboration with industrial partners from making our electricity network more resilient to locally focused activities, working with Greater Manchester combined authorities to help them to cut the CO2 emissions in our region. This connection between our expertise and our region takes us back to the 1800s. The university originated in response to the engineering challenges of the Industrial Revolution, centered in the northwest of England. 1824, the date on our logo, was the date of the formation of the Institute of Mechanics, and the university soon followed. Man Manchester was the birthplace of the engineering discipline in universities, but as the birthplace also of the Industrial Revolution, this initiated one of today's biggest global challenges, climate change. So it is particularly fitting that here in Manchester, we are tackling climate change through major projects, such as those relating to reducing energy consumption of computer servers, to decarbonizing our wider energy systems through researchers in the Tyndall Center. Our teaching staff are also continually innovating. For instance, sending aircraft kits around the world during the pandemic to ensure students could continue to develop practical skills. And many of you will have gained skills relating to global grand challenges through learning how to design new devices, systems or processes as part of projects supervised by academics who are at the forefronts of their fields. Or through volunteering activities where you are taking your expertise out into the wider community. Our school is an inclusive environment and we are working to embed social responsibility in everything we do. The skills you learn and the wider experiences that you gain during your time here will no doubt lead to further important contributions addressing major engineering, computing, environmental and societal challenges throughout your lives. You have trained with us to work in professions that will only become more important as society takes stock of some of the great challenges that the world faces today. During your time here, you will have become more curious developed new problem-solving skills, and learnt how to be critical, analytical, and inquiring. But as you will hopefully now realise, our university is here to provide you with experiences and skills that you can take with you into the wider community, industry, into industry, and into society, and play your part in building a better world, in making a difference. So finally, on behalf of my colleagues here across the School of Engineering, May I congratulate you on your hard work, your commitment, your enthusiasm, and your achievements at reaching this important milestone and wish you every success in future. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank your family, friends, and significant others for all of their support. So good luck in your futures and with making a difference in our world. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Charlotte Brown. <laughs> Chen Li. <laughs> Zhao Dong Chen. Evangelos Daskalakis. Miguel Pereira.
Eleftherios Lakovakis. <laughs> Kenny Sumo Churchill Lue. Connor Marsh. Chukuma Obe Ganamaya. Luciana Sinpetru. Also graduating with a President's Doctoral Scholar, Xiaoming Yang. <laughs> Jingwen Zhang. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering, Chin Mai Raj Dodarajapa. Mustafa Anas Ali Al Agab. <laughs> Rowan Kapilil Rajiv. <laughs> Arunam Kumar. <laughs> Shi Sheng Li. Hams Louib. <laughs> Tomotaka Mizuno. <laughs> Joshua Nandi. <laughs> Thomas Perrin. Anirud Selvam. <laughs> Michael Sidebottom. <laughs> Swapnil Singh. <laughs> and in management of projects, Lu Bai. Jaiwen Bao. <laughs> Jingjing Kai. <laughs> Chi Chi Chen. Jiok Leng Chang. <laughs> Mingwei Feng. <laughs> Iwei Hei. <laughs> Elif Kondachi. Zihao Lin. <laughs> Yang Lui. <laughs> Yuo Feng Lui. Nafisa Adidiba Ugumbo. <laughs> 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 
Ming Wang. Lin Wang. Hauron Wang. Chi Wang. Boxang Wang. Han Wu. Sikun Yan. Xin Yu Yue. Chun Zhao. And in project management, Stevie Saunders. And for the award of postgraduate diploma in aerospace engineering, Luela Say. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering with honors, Hafsa Farouk. Khadija Sharifi. Mohammed Moeen Shaw. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Twisha. <laughs> Michael Ognata Akburgorin. <laughs> Salem Aljana. Abdullah Muhammad uh, Al Fayed, <laughs> Gada Abril Rahman S. Al Mahdi, <laughs> Jonathan Carlton, <laughs> Elizabeth Fons. Iona Georgi. <laughs> Joseph Hansen. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Humada. <laughs> Marcos Kinigos. Eleni Marakudaki. <laughs> Orion Papadakis. <laughs> Luca Perez. <laughs> Adam Parrott. Miguel Eduardo Pinto da Silva. <laughs> A 
Regina Skiver. <laughs> Madeline Steeds. <laughs> also graduating with the President's Doctoral Scholar, Marco Valentino. Mikhail Van Vakaris. <laughs> Maria Zakalaki. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Computer Science, Armadas Vespaluvis. Lingbo Chen. <laughs> Lucas Deprosky. <laughs> Apurva Dugahavala. Umar Farouk. <laughs> Shuron Gay. <laughs> Vinky Han. <laughs> Yuelen Huang. Hanley Lai. Uriya Sanjay Lua. Akshit Mittal. Joshua Lyon Sace. Bushi. <laughs> and in advanced computer science, a uh, specialization in advanced web technologies, Adam Robert Johnson. <laughs> and in advanced computer science with specialization in artificial intelligence. Ashka Kurnia Abriariadi. <laughs> Shu Bum Agarval. <laughs> Sanad Nabam Shafiq Aganamir. <laughs> Nabil Akhtar. Ulua Damini, Michael Akpatoho. <laughs> Nuf Fuad Yitch Albari. <laughs> Valentina Paz Berara del Gato. <laughs> Emmanuel Alarwagu David. Ruby Ritha George. <laughs> Zhao <Yu> Han. <laughs> Shuang Liu. <laughs> Zinyi Huang.
Paraskevis Solomu. <laughs> Alfie Sharif Adam Sumadi. <laughs> Wei Ching Oscar Wong. Lucas Mark Leonard Williamson. <laughs> Wei Ching, Oscar Wong. Uh, Venning Zhu. <laughs> Yawen Zhang. and an advanced computer science with specialization in computer security, Burhanuddin Salim. <laughs> and in advanced computer science with specialization in data and knowledge management, James Tim. and in advanced computer science with specialization in digital biology, Carolina Costas Lopez. <laughs> Sadia Sumaika Kanam. <laughs> Joshua Matthew McDonough. and an advanced computer science with specialization in software engineering, Xutong Liu. <laughs> Yanni Yang. And for the degree of Master of Engineering in Computer Science with Industrial Experience with Honours, Ran Harrison. <laughs> and in Software Engineering with Industrial Experience with Honours, Zhang Yang Tang. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechatronic Engineering with honours, Cornell Samuel Parr. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Nuclear Science and Technology, Hitesh. and for the degree of Master of Science in Management of Projects, Zimu Wang. I'm available for selfies later on if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if if any uh, of the parents are interested. Um, many congratulations. You are now graduates of the University of Manchester. It's great to see so many parents and friends here. 
I know many of you have travelled long distances to be here. You're very, very welcome, and I look forward to welcoming you back to Manchester, because like the graduates, you will always be welcome in Manchester too. So thank you very much for coming. I now declare this ceremony closed.